A good speech is not a conversation. However, a great speech sounds conversational. If it is your habit to write out your speech, the chances are it'll be a lot more difficult to remember and internalize. The written word is for the eye. The spoken word is for the rhythm. That means shorter sentences, one idea a sentence. If you don't write out your speech, you should write what you want to say in short phrases, bullet points, incomplete sentences. In other words, just enough to trigger your memory of what you want to say. Imagine you're having a conversation with a friend and you make a statement. In a conversation, your friend will likely respond with a question, what do you mean by that? Or give me an example. Your audience would recognize that as a conversation, even if you're delivering a speech to them. Important, the secret of making an emotional connection is to speak to the audience as if you were having a conversation with one person. Doesn't matter if there are 50, 100, 300 people. In other words, what if you said to your audience, how often have you had the experience? Or, if you had met me when. Or, I don't know what your experience is. However, everyone in the audience will feel that you are talking to them. No, a speech is not a conversation. But it needs to sound conversational. With a conversation, there is a back and forth. And you don't usually think advance about what you're going to say. In a conversation, you might use less specific language and longer, even run on sentences. And my brother always challenges me that I change topics without a segue. This is not your plan for a speech. As the great philosopher, actress Raquel Wells said, style is being yourself on purpose. Patricia Fripp's version of that is, a good speech is like a conversation on purpose. The difference mean, so you think in advance what you're going to say for a speech. What is the message you want to get across? What is the best way to deliver it? And deliver it then as if it were a conversation.